good year here and I'm back in my workshop and I had some some requests from people for the uh, very early type they wanted uh, to roll and guess guess what's in here this is one of my best two rolls I've ever seen for the very early OBL or um, 61 flat floor up to December 61 this is the one and this is mint and we are now going to go through all the tools so yes and uh, here it is so we just first thing you note is the buckle this is the original buckle here and you see this has no corrosion at all this is in mint perfect condition the whole tool roll is um, a texture and on the outside it is a uh, vinyl or um, yeah vinyl covered I think they sprayed it on in the in the um, in the old days and um, now we are going through all the tools we have here so let's see what we have here so we start from the left and um, here's very interesting the original the original pressure gauges they were wrapped in cellophane and um, so this is what you see here is still in the original has never been used and this one I'm showing you this this roll as it is and this one has the um, the logo on here you see that this is the Jaguar logo and that is the correct one for this uh, early model so this is a 61 two roll only the later one six uh, six so so this is a 61 two roll only and this is only good for 61 for 61 cars 62 cars and later were all different so but I'm now explaining this one so you have the original uh, e-type Jaguar pressure gauge which was also for other cars like the MK and uh, but as I said this one has the um, the Jaguar wings on here and you can see that on here there very clearly to see and with some patent markings um, then we have the um, the adjustable this is the four inch adjustable spanner and it's named Garrington's that's a brand on the other side you find Jaguar this one has never been used you see this is the original finish and has never been messed with and this is the original color second we have we have the um, the brake adjuster tool that's the allen key for the very early the OBL cars mainly and I'm not sure when it was discontinued but this is to help you to insert the allen key to the brake and then you would adjust that by hand later cars have that done automatically so but this is the original allen key with that pointed tip on here then you have the original um, SSP and it says SSP on here and SSP stands for Sheffield Steel Production and I can tell you this one is totally new and never been used there are no markings on here still original finish from factory and now we come to a very interesting because very often damaged or uh, or broken or um, used you can see this is the the pointed tip short six inch small tommy bar so I'm explaining you this and you can identify they have a kind of nose on here can you see that on here on both sides so this is and this one is totally straight very often they're bent so they use a small they use a small uh, box banner and then they force it and and it's so easy to bend so to get a straight one is really really hard 
Here's the original grease gun with the instruction sheet. So this is the instruction sheet. And uh, very often, they are, you see this is a bit faded, and that is because of the grease melting in the heat, in the boot, and then running out, and it will cover the paper sheet. But this is how it is. And this is the original one with the text here on the bottom. Very often you find copies or reproduction which are someone printed and didn't put the alignment right. So this is the original. Then we have the famous box banners and here you see how they are. The early ones, they were all six inch long, same length as the same length as the short Tommy bar and same length as the pliers. They're all six inch long. And um, so this is a perfectly nesting set and you see there's no hole or space in between. And when you hold them, you know, there's a small one in here and that is the next point I want to get your attention for. So the original early ones, they had, they had two six inch long and one is five, six, uh, five inch long. And they all had the markings, as you can see here, they, they were all center marked. And they all had the grinding traces here because you have drilled the hole in here and then you would just, you know, on the grinder, you would just clean the, the grade off. That they all fit and um, so this is the um, the largest one and just let's see the marking on here there uh, there it is it is center mark whereby the others they have the marking on the flat end the later ones so this is AF this says three quarter seven eighths AF so this is correct marking and you see the end they are kind of, uh, they're not flat, they're cu they, are, they have a profile, really. The second one, no markings on the flat ends, but again, this one has the marking in the center, and there we go. This one says 9 sixteenths by 5 8 AF again. And you note, this hole is by 180 degrees, uh, um, is by, by 90 degrees, it is, so, and you note, this hole is on, in, on all the spanners, is placed with an angle of 90 degrees. So you have it here and here, so you can always get a 90 degrees turn either here or there and that was the purpose of these that you can always get them in here you should get them in I don't want to damage the um, so that is totally tight and and perfectly fitting but I don't want to be too don't want to damage the paint or the surface and so this also goes in here and that is why this one is often bent. So they just put it in here and then they twist it and then they bend very often the tip here. So this is the smallest one. This one is five inch long and uh, you have the markings again. There it is. And that says um, seven sixteenths by a half AF. So Again, here you see the, the ends, they're not cut off, they have a profile and still the grinding marks on here. That is just to fit in the, um, in the larger one. Then we have the, um, the seven inch box banner. This is end marked and here you see this one is uh, the three-quarter AF this is for the cylinder head dome nuts 
I wonder how you get that on and off with the it was just by hand and the the larger Tommy bar and the other one is um, one a half where is it oh there it is is BSF and this is a, a half and this stands for um, BSF this stands this is for the spark plug really and you get that out with the larger Tommy bar so you get that in here and with that tool you should you should replace the spark plugs or tighten the cylinder head funny thing eh? <laughs> so having this in hand this is a nine and a half inch large Tommy bar and also this one has the markings from the production and you have them there's one visible on there and this is the uh, the mushroom hat and you have a straight end here a dead, dead straight end cut off so these ones are also very often bent so to find it to find a nice straight one is not easy then we continue here with the uh, open-ended spanners uh, Jaguar first used to uh, TW in the X case, but um, also the early E types that had the uh, W uh, TW, and um, but uh, more more was introduced the Garrington, uh, which I used all, already for the um, four inch adjustable. So this is the smallest uh, of the four. You see the markings. Eight thirty. 32 and on the other side is um, I'm not reading everything off now 3 8 AF the all AF but I just wanted to show you the quality of the tools and um, this is a mint it so this is a totally mint never been used toolkit so the second largest is the uh, the second smallest the second largest would you say so the second says also Jaguar and on the back it says Garrington and again these ones here you see have never been used excellent finish surface finish and here is the um, Thirds again, Garrington and Jaguar. Size upside down. Here again is uh, Jaguar, and the size is very, very. The size is very, very good to read. You see the quality of the of the open spinners never been used. And the last, the biggest one. This is a really nice tools. So it's Jaguar on there, three quarters AF, seven eighth, perfect condition. Won't find anything better than this. But now what I'm really proud of is this screwdriver. This is the best I have ever, ever seen. And you see the end, it's still dead sharp. There's no markings whatsoever. And, um, very often you see just using them once you will have markings on here so this has never been used and on the handle you see the Jaguar you see the surround here so that must be there and um, it is on the outer not on the groove in the groove but on the outer and this is not a combination screwdriver it's a fixed blade you can't swap this. See how sharp that is here? Yeah, it's one of the best. This is actually the best I've, I've ever seen. The whole toolkit, I've never ever seen a collection of so many perfectly mint tools. And on top, you can still open and close the, um, the container. Here is the, um, the camshaft setting tool. And you see here on the on the on the flat and 
there are no marks or traces from the CNC machine. And in fact, you should have, you should have here uh, some markings and that is how they were made. I think they were they were pressed or stamped and not like the reproduction there and our CNC cut. So this is the one you use to just the um, the um, the camshafts. Very nice is also this one. This is the original unopened. The originals always had the tape on both sides and uh, I'll leave that on. Inside you can tell from the weight Inside is a hose to bleed the uh, the brakes on the road during, during your drive. You see there, it is not it is not um, the E type is <laughs> or the Jaguar. I mean those days. Ah, oh, maybe the saloon cars they had to drive over, but the E type, of course, they had to do it themselves. The E type was made for uh, for people who who know how to use these tools. Then we have the. Um, the, uh, the the filler gauge and this is um, I try to open this one so this is three blades four six and eight you still have the um, the wax or grease on here this is f you know for not getting stuck together and this is the um, this is the early design of the numbers I call them double double figures and this is an original one there are a lot of reproduction out there, but this is how the original one looks. And only when you have them next to each other and you know how to distinguish, you will learn what is an original what isn't. Then, interestingly, this is the one which came with the tool, but this is only a screwdriver. This is a poinsettia tool. And so this, you would screw the contacts open here and it would have, and that is missing on this one, strangely but there's no space in between so there couldn't be anything else between in there there should be um, a kind of, of yeah blade in here giving you the distance between the between the pointers in the distributor and then you would tighten this on so this is how it came I'll leave it in here whoever wants to buy the kit uh, I will include another one and um, so that you can really use that and then you, you can decide but this is the one which came with it so not everything was perfect even the old days and last tool is this one this is a tire a valve removal tool and they have a hole in here and um, yeah this is brass later ones were uh, plastic but that is uh, 64 and onwards so I hope you you could get some information, some valuable information for you. And uh, this tool roll is is very similar to the XK140. And the only difference is that they had another set of three box spenders, which were BSF marked, and which are not included in the uh, Jaguar E-Type kit. And um, they had a different... Um, adjustable and the XK did not have this one but therefore they had another key for the uh, for the brake bleeding but all the rest is almost equal so for an XK140 or XK150 toolkit you need to have this plus another set of these hard to find because there were less XK140 150 than E types so, so you need to have these three, this one, and another set of three with the BSF marking. That would be a proper XK140-150 tool, but I will come back to that later. So I hope you gained some valuable information and um, hope to see you. So I hope this is valuable information to help you to find your original toolkit for your car and not something what some people compose and mix up and say uh, this is uh, how I found it this is from my uncle or this is from my grandfather they have so many grandfathers and their grandfathers must have had so many cars I don't know this is a genuine tool roll how I found it 
and I only open it once in a while to show you what's in it and um, I hope you can use this information to find your correct tool call. This tool roll is currently for sale but I think it won't last long.